Hello Troopers, welcome back to this brand new video. You've probably clicked on this video to learn about the newer and better way to want to play Slayer and Enderman Slayer. So to start off this video, um, I found this bug a day ago on the release of the Upgraded Bazaar and the crop growth rate increase. Uh, and it's pretty insane. Uh, what it does, it, it basically makes it so that stack of dominus when you have 10, when you strike an enemy it deals Instead of the 0.5 multiplier it usually deals, it deals 5 times to 6 times more damage uh, of what you're currently doing. I found this out when I was doing T4 Void Gloom 1 taps and I suddenly saw an 11 build damage um, Gorilla Tactics and I was like, huh? How the fuck is this supposed to work? Um, so I checked my replay and after the replay I saw a great integral limit format in the air. Um, so I thought, hmm, that must be something up. And then I found out it's the Crimson Armor that is actually buggier than it was before. Um, so I thought, what if I just test it out on some Play Slayer real quick and maybe it would work, maybe not. And it did. It worked just fine. There was totally no issue. But it's a bit inconsistent right now. Um, I don't know the reason for it, but it just is. Some people think that it's because the Endermen are three blocks tall and the Blazers are two. But I don't, I'm not for sure myself. So, let's just get into how to one-tap a Blaze Slayer. So, what you need to one-tap a Blaze Slayer is a Tactical Insurgent, a Souls Rebound, high DPS weapons such as the Giant Sword, Dark Claymore or T3 Daggers, I would recommend the stronger version of them, and a Grapple Shot. The Grapple Shot is really important because you need to make sure you can damage attack with it. Um, so, I'll explain how it works now. So what you need to do is you need to make sure that you have a, a 10 stack dominant so you get a double strike. So that's why I use full crimson. You can also use three fourths crimson, but I would, I would recommend using full crimson. The reason for that is so you have a small uh, gap to skill issue with, or uh, to prep a bit more, or to get more damage increasing items in if you don't deal enough damage. Um, and I would also recommend using a alt pacifier. I'll explain this in another video if y'all would like, because the usual alt pacifier is bugged. Or not bug, it got fixed. The bug got fixed. Um, so to start off, get two groups of blazes. Get a group, uh, get a single blaze, and get a group of three to four blazes. Um, after that, uh, I make sure to grapple the solo blaze, so the one blaze. And when I grapple it, I make sure to uh, kill that one first before the other group comes back. Because what I do is I grapple the solo blaze. And right when I grapple the solar blaze, I grapple the group, the full group, of three to four blazes. I kill the first blaze um, to make sure that I have a refreshed full stack of Dominus so I can get the guaranteed strike. And what I do is when the big group of blazes comes back, I shoot my source rebound on it and just hit, hit until it, uh, hit until like three seconds. And after those three seconds, you swap to your Gorilla Sactex, then your Dale Zax or a Magic Find weapon you want uh, you want to use. And after that, yeah, it just basically one taps. There's nothing special about it. You just one tap it after that. Um, so yeah, that's how you can one tap a T4 Blaze. And now the improved one tapping strap for Enderman Slayer. This is not really a one tapping trap because it's more accessible for players who don't have a tactical on the surge. And um, what you essentially do is you get it out of hit phase, and after that you can one tap it, or you can two tap it. It depends on how much damage you actually deal. Uh, the only thing you actually need for this is an atom split or a high DPS weapon. It really depends on you. I would personally recommend a atom split because the ferocity makes it so much easier to do the amount of damage you actually need to deal. Um, it's the full crimson stack ability, the dominus like um, we use for the blaze method, and a fire free staff or ice spray wand. Uh, the reason for that is you need to freeze the enemy in place while you use the 
um, Source Rebound ability with the stacking damage of the unlimited attack speed. Um, so, I'm now going to explain how to actually do it. So what you want to do is, you want to make sure that the enemy is out of, it, uh, out of its hit phase. After it's out of its hit phase, um, make sure your stack, your dominant stack is at 10, so you can get the double strike. Uh, after that, freeze Avoiding Fanatic or Avoiding Extremist. Spam on it with the DPS weapon you have. Hit it, make sure that the Enderman, the boss, is coming close to him. And when the Souls Rebound pops, the damage of the Souls Rebound and the damage of the Crimson ability uh, one taps it. Uh, and that's how you can do it. The damage you need to deal on the Souls Rebound crit hit is around 100 to 150 mil. The reason for that being is that, like I said before, the Crimson Armor, the 10 stack ability actually multiplies your damage by 5 to 6 times. Um, so you need to deal less damage to get a higher output. Um, so that's really nice, like I said, for early game players or for early or mid game players. And if you do it correctly, it will just perish, it will just die on the place. And yeah, that's what the, this video is all about. One tapping the two hardest bosses, or at least the two hardest bosses outside of dungeons. Um, so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. And if you want to get an explanation or a explanation video on how to uh, get a bugged quest on your alt account to make a blast blaze pacifier leave it down in the comments below and thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all later have a great day